All right. Uh, first impression of the Red Wing Logger uh, style boot. Um, the style number is 4420. Um, hopefully in the first two to three minutes, I'm gonna give you all the main points, the finer points of this video. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go into more detail. So if you kind of just want the, the general facts of the Red Wing Logger 442, it's happening right now. And then the finer details are gonna come at the end for those people who don't wanna um, get all the information. Um, so this is a Goodyear Welt boot, um, the 4420, um, at least mine. These are steel-toed, they are waterproof, and they are electrical hazard rated. Um, they have other ones online um, that are different styles that look exactly like this, um, but they have differences um, kind of more internally as far as some of them have that are insulated and some aren't. Um, don't quote me on this, but I believe you can get this exact same boot in a comp toe. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember that from being in a store. Um, I could be wrong. Um, this is a nine inch high uh, boot. Um, like I said, they are waterproof. And it is right here in between these two uh, for where the gusset actually ends on the tongue of the boot. So from this point, let me make sure I got that right. Yep, in between these two speed hooks, from this point down, um, it'll be waterproof. Everything above that, obviously, if you can see inside the gusset, that's as high as it goes. Um, I ordered a 10.5D. That is the size that I've worn in any other Red Wing boot. Um, I have wet soles. I've had other Red Wings in the past. Um, and these fit me great. They're not big, they're not tight. Um, the footbed inside of it obviously is starting to conform to my foot, but really in any shoe that you get, um, you would have to, that's gonna happen regardless. Um, I'll give you kind of a spin. So you can see all the sides of it. Here's the sole. I have worn these for maybe, I don't know, maybe a couple hours. I wore them the day I bought them and then some today. I have not worked in these yet, so I don't know how they are for work. Again, this is kind of just a, a first impression. Uh, so far, I'm definitely impressed. Um, and then this one, I already got the insole taken out so you can see it. Um, pretty much standard Red Wing insole. Um, like I said, I had the, I have the a pair of Red Wing um, uh, wedge sole boots as well and this looks exactly like the same kind of insole. I could be wrong, maybe the material of it could be different, um, but to me it, it looks and feels the exact same. Um, the Red Wing uh, laces are standard Red Wing laces. Um, I'll show you the tag on the inside. So you can see the 4420, they are ASTM rated. Um, and for those who do want to know, this is one of their boots that are made in China. This is not an American made boot. Um, not to throw everybody off by the American flag. My Red Wing store just gives these out for free. Um, I like them. You know, I am a proud American. Um, I try to do my part whenever I can and buy an American made products. Um, but yet, you know, again, these are the boots I liked and you know, they're made in China. It, it is what it is. All right, um, last of the finer details. Um, like I said, this fits really good. Um, it fits my foot perfect. So um, if you're a 10 and a half D um, and you kind of like this style of boot um, to where the heel is up a little bit more, especially if you have um, a foot to where you need a lot of arch support, um, I would rec definitely 100% recommend putting this on, going to the store, trying it on. If you don't have that ability, um, buy it online, see how it is. And then as you know, Red Wing's good with returns. If it doesn't work out, you can always return it. Um, but yeah, so that was my quick bit of the, of the video. So now I'm gonna try to go a little bit more into detail with things um, for those who obviously wanna get a little bit more details, you know, keep watching. Um, all right, so. Um, 
the main purpose why I'm getting these, um, like I said, uh, I do have other boots, um, but I'm gonna be doing a lot more outside work than I am inside work from what I would was doing. Um, that's why my wedge sole boots, primarily most of the stuff I was doing was inside of a warehouse and it was on concrete floors. And uh, my wedge sole boots were perfect for that. Um, and then even whenever I'm at home and I was doing general projects, I would wear them. And I got those boots last year. Um, and the first snow that we got in Michigan, those who are familiar with Michigan, you know, we get some decent amount of snow here, warm outside. And man, it was like I was ice skating um, in those wet sole boots. Um, I was actually pretty disappointed um, in how bad they were in the snow. Um, I still love them, not knocking Red Wing whatsoever, um, but uh, at least in my experience with my wet sole boots from Red Wing, um, it didn't work out too well. And they were the actual uh, Red Wing wet sole boots. I can't remember the style number. Um, they weren't the Irish Setters. Maybe the Irish Setters uh, perform better in the snow. Um, I'm not sure. I don't have any of those. But with all that said, that's why I got these. Um, this, when I went to the store, this, it was not my intention to actually get a logger boot. Um, I knew I needed something that was going to be better for me being outside, grass, gravel, pavement, snow, rain, whatever. Um, so I was trying to look into boots that would be better for that. Um, tried a bunch on, tried on some of their, I forget what they're called, but I know it was some of the boots that had the super sole, um, and just didn't feel right on my foot. Um, tried on some of their like work, like slash, you know, like the, like the air quotes, like work slash hiking boots. Um, they were comfortable, but again, didn't feel right on my foot. Uh, my wife was with me and she actually saw these boots. Um, and she said that she liked the way they looked. Um, and I was, you know, I've, I've always liked the way that logger boots looked, but I don't know. I've just never thought about putting a pair on. So I put a pair on and I was pleasantly surprised of just how comfortable these are. Um, again, um, as I said in the beginning, um, I believe that these are a lot more comfortable on my foot because I do have a very high arch on my foot. Um, so, I mean, if you can, I mean, you know, on a wedge, I'm sorry, on a logger boot, I mean, it's kind of common sense. You can just even just see based on just how like from the footbed to the heel, um, I'd say it's definitely a good difference of at least a half an inch, at most maybe three quarters of an inch within height from where your your forefoot hits um, to the like where you're at your heel is actually at. Um, and it was actually when I first being truly 100% honest when I first put them on, um, it almost seemed like it was too much. Um, but I had them on, um, I know that, you know, when you put on new boots, you know, there's all that brand new padding in there and, you know, the brand new footbed. So everything is 100% as, I guess you could say plumped up as it can be. Um, and any shoe that you get, it has to take time, relax your foot, your body weight. Um, and I'm glad I gave it some time. I had them on for about 10 minutes in the store. Um, things started to settle down. Um, and you can still feel, you know, obviously the major difference from where the bottom of your foot is to where like your heel is within the height difference, but they feel really, really good. Um, warm the day I got them for a couple hours. Uh, I've only had these for three days. Um, I wore them for two hours the first day, maybe four hours the next day. And then today, probably at least about six hours. Um, no issues, really comfortable. Um, this is the left boot. Um, on the right boot, I can definitely feel this part. You can even kind of see the crease um, of where it's starting to break in. It's not uncomfortable. I guess you can say it's um, more annoying than anything. Um, but when I'm actually working in them and I've got my mind on doing work and stuff, I'm sure um, I probably won't be paying attention to it. Um, and then you know, again, I don't want to repeat myself a thousand times, but uh, when you get boots like this or Red Wings, and I'm not, you know, a true 100%, you know, all Red Wing shopper. Um, when you have any high quality boot, a Red Wing, a Danner, a Chippewa, um, a Thoroughgood, 
um, you know, they take time to break in. Some take longer than others. Um, I'm going to be optimistic and hopeful and hope these only uh, take no more than two weeks to break in. Um, I'm going to keep my old boots with me in my truck as I'm working just in case. Like if these are really bad, well, my dog, uh, he's going to go by. I mean, hey, you want to say hi? No, he's not saying hi. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, he's just going to curl up in a ball right there. All right. Um, what I was saying, um, yeah, I'm hoping these only take about two weeks. I'm going to keep my old boots in my truck while I'm working. So if they, during the break-in period, if my feet are really starting to ache, I can pop these off, put my other ones on. It's kind of common sense, but uh, if you are a guy um, that's getting new boots, you know, similar to this, and it doesn't have to be logger boots. It can be wedge sole boots. Um, my wedge sole boots from Red Wing, they, they took two weeks to break in. Um, anytime that you're getting a, a higher quality boot with like a real high quality leather, none of this fake, you know, faux crap leather that they have, um, you know, they're going to take time to break in. Um, you know, that's why these boots cost what they do. Um, you know, you're paying for, you know, upgraded materials, a better sole. You know, this is a Vibram sole. You can't, I don't, well, because of the light on my phone, it's not going to show you the, the lettering of it, but it is a Vibram sole. Um, the higher quality leather, um, the stitching and the attention to detail. Um, but, uh, going into the price, um, I paid, I think it was about $203 for these. And that was with me getting a 15% discount. Um, so, you know, your store could be different. You might have a different coupon or um, some companies, you might work for a company to where uh, Red Wing is actually hooked up with your company and you might get a co like a bigger company discount. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I feel it's definitely um, a lot of boot for 200 bucks. Uh, my wet sole boots were actually more expensive than these. Um, and there's some differences between the two. I guess some, some pros of this, some cons of this, some pros of that, and some cons of that of my wet sole boots when I say that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not trying to ramble, just trying to, you know, really give you the, the, my full opinion on things. And, you know, I, I did not see a lot of videos on this particular boot out there. I found a lot of videos on logger boots, but not this particular boot from Red Wing. And that's why I'm doing this video. Um, I'll show you the inside. So just all black. Um, obviously, you know, I took the footbed out of that one. Um, so that's what it looks like in there. Um, real soft material. Um, all this up here is where you can even see kind of where it's bowed out and stitched. Um, this is, you know, really comfortable. Uh, today was the first day I say that I was, uh, I kind of tightened it up decently good around my leg. The first two days I had this pretty loose um, just to try to speed up the, the break-in period. But today I, I, I kind of cinched it, not all the way as if I was working, but it was on there decent. Um, and I didn't have any problems minus, you know, like what I said on this one where I could feel that leather kind of setting in. Um, and once it breaks in, you know, I'll be able to, you know, really tighten them down and I'll be all set. Um, I looked at the hardware, you know, standard hardware. You can even see on the eyelets going around it, it says Red Wing. Uh, speed hooks are good, you know, going inside. All good. Down in here, bottom of the gusset. Looks all good. And the other boot is, you know, the exact, you know, obviously the exact same. Um, you know, definitely, you know, I want to say surprised, but not surprised. Um, you know, anything I've gotten from Red Wing, I've never really had any issues. Um, uh, I'm like, uh, no disrespect to Red Wing. And uh, so people know for the purpose of this video, obviously I am not paid by Red Wing to do this. Um, and being even more honest, I wish I was because I would not mind some of Red Wing's money. Um, but uh, for those who are interested you know i believe you know even danner has boots like this i believe uh you know i know chippewa does that's actually one of the main boots that they do uh thorough good does uh carolina actually has a really good 
logger boot. I know a couple of my friends that that's the only thing that they will wear is Carolina logger boots. Um, I've always, like I said, I've had good, uh, good experiences with Red Wing in the past. I have a Red Wing store that's only 15 minutes away from my house, so that's a nice bonus also. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, you know, kind of me giving a little bit more details into the boot. Um, you know, as far as, you know, how it fit me, again, I'm a 10 and a half D. It fits me perfect. It's not big. It's not small. Um, it's good. I get no binding, like, you know, within the steel toe. And then again, th so I'm very clear. I have not worked in these yet. Um, I don't expect any issues. Um, if I do, well, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, nothing's perfect. Um, I'll take them back. Uh, but I, I don't foresee any issues with these. Um, so that's the boot. Again, style uh, 4420. The steel toe. Uh, waterproof um, and electrical hazard rating. Um, these are not insulated. They may look different on the inside if they were insulated. I don't think that they do. Um, they might. Don't quote me on that. Um, and they also have this boot um, in their black leather as well. That's the only other color off the top of my head that I know that they have it in. So it's black leather. You have the brown uh, welting and then the black sole. Um, I didn't like the way that looked. I didn't like the black with the brown and the black. I liked the the normal um, brown leather, and especially once you wear it in, um, and you get, uh, you know, if you're maintaining your boots, and you get uh, like a good quality boot oil on there, and just the, the natural patina that work boots get, um, I really like that. Um, that's just me though. Uh, that's the last thing I'm going to put uh, in this video.